What's going on guys? Zuko back with another Dragonflight video. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. Grab your coffee. We're talking about BM Hunter today. We're continuing the range series. Um, we've almost got them all done. So we're going to do BM Hunter today. We've already got a Marksman Hunter done. We have two more Warlock videos to go after this and then Evoker. I think that's the last three that I have left for range DPS. So we're very close. Um... We're going to do a range tier list. Some of you guys have been asking about the tier list, and we will get to the range tier list, but I'm not going to do a list until I've actually tested every spec because uh, it just is kind of disingenuous if I don't get to try it myself and see how it feels and see how it plays, how much damage it deals, all that jazz. So we're going to um, get through these, and we'll get the tier list done probably by the end of the week is my guess. And, uh, yeah, it should be good. But today we're talking about BM Hunter, which um, TLDR, it's um, fine. Again, it's good. Um, it actually almost has like the exact same kind of playstyle that it did before, which take it or leave it, that might be kind of boring to some of you. But let me talk about the talents in the tree. Um, we'll go over the build that I ran. I'll show you some footage. Um, we're going to do the whole nine yards here, okay? So let's talk about um, the class tree first and kind of the only... Some of the downsides actually to the class tree um, being that you essentially have to take this left side here with the pet focus... Which, you know, it's fine because it buffs your pet damage. And there's nothing wrong with that. The large majority of your damage on BM Hunter is going to be your pet damage. But it does force you to go over here. You want to get 6% more damage here. You want to get Kill Command damage for sure. And you want to get Alpha Predator. Kill Command is by far like your highest DPS button. It ends up accounting... I mean, Barb Shot's obviously very, very good. But Kill Command does 16% of your damage here. Okay? And then Kill Cleave, which is a new AoE um, portion of, of your damage, also applies from kill command which is another uh 14 15 percent of your damage there so altogether it ends up being almost 30 percent of your damage a little more than 30 percent of your damage just pressing kill command so this button is so important it's so important to have alpha predator at the bottom here it's annoying because it limits you in the class side of things but it's not really a problem because it allows you to do lots of damage so um yeah that's but you do have to spend five points over here which is kind of annoying now the rest of the bottom of the tree, I think, is kind of self-explanatory. You really want critical strike chance um, for uh, uh, BM Hunter in general because of Piercing Fangs, which used to be uh, Rylus Stalkers, the legendary from Shadowlands. So while Beast of Wrath is active, your pet's critical damage dealt is increased by 35%. So this essentially just says you deal 35% more damage. Your beasts do 35% more damage, and you're supporting that by getting extra crit chance over here. So... Um, Again, BM Hunter is still all about crit. You want to get as much crit as you kind of can. Um, Barb Shot's going to help you do that. It gives you a stacking crit buff, of course. Um, you're getting that from Thrill of the Hunt. So it is still all about crit, and it's still all about Rylus Stalkers. And I'll get to the spec side in a second, but uh, Keen Insight is a part of that. Finally, the last three points, I really think you want to spend two points into Serrated Shots because it increases your bleed damage by 20 and then 40% when you're in Execute. And guess what? Barb Shot is a bleed, and this is why it ends up doing so much damage overall over the course of my dungeon run, because I'm giving it 20% and 40% more damage. Literally, 40% more damage in Execute from just from Serrated Shots. So um, it's crazy how much damage you can do just from your Barb Shots, and you really, I feel like you need to take Serrated Shots. Now, the last point that you want to spend, I think you should take Death Chakram. I think it's really important, actually. You could go over here and get, like, one point into Master Marksman. Um, but I think, ideally, you're going to want to take Death Chakram. A couple reasons why. Number one, it increases the damage that the enemy will take from both you and your pets. So, um, that's really, really important. So, you, you end, your pet ends up doing 10% more damage. You end up doing more damage. And it generates focus for you. Which means you can just spam... Cobra shots and kill commands. This is especially good on single target. It, it's fine in AOE, but not. it doesn't really have as much of a... It's not as significant, but you can sort of spam out those multi-shots a bit more if you want to. Really, you only need to be pressing multi-shot once every six seconds to get the beast cleave effect. But So Death Shocker, I think, is really, really good in single target. It lets you press Cobra shot more, which lets you press kill command more because it'll reduce the cooldown on kill command, right? So... Death Chakram is not a DPS spell so much as it is a supportive spell, making your, your pets do more damage and allowing you to continue your rotation in a, a more, more smoothly. So that's the class side of things, guys. I think you are kind of forced to take a setup something like this. 
I, I, I don't know how you get away from this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about the class side of things, but I think that this is more or less what you're looking at. Now, on the spec side of things, it's a little bit, um, I don't know if sad's the right word. It's a little bit kind of like, nothing has really changed for BM Hunter. It's almost the exact same build that you would have been running in Shadowlands. There's the addition of Kill Cleave, which I'll talk about in a second. But the reality is that there's a bunch of cool new buttons that they added for BM Hunter, and you just don't take any of them. There's the Dire Beast here with the extra um, Kill Command having a chance to summon a Dire Beast, and then Dire Beast summons uh, last initial second, does more damage. And then whenever you summon five Dire Beasts, your Kill Command um, has its focus cost reduced and its cooldown goes down. It sounds really, really cool, but it just doesn't do as much damage. In my testing, it doesn't do as much damage as the stock standard old school BM Hunter build where you just take... Ryla Stalker's Legendary, which was the, which is now called Piercing Fangs, and you just um, press Beastial Wrath as much as possible, and you're just doing crazy, crazy AOE damage with Beast Cleave and now with Kill Cleave. So, what this ends up doing is whenever Beast Cleave is active, Kill Command will also strike all nearby enemies. So you want to start with Multi Shot, of course, and then you're going to press Kill Command on enemies, and you're your multi-shot will trigger a Beast Cleave, which it normally did, but now it's also going to trigger a Kill Cleave when you press that Kill Command. So the reason that this is so significant is that it gives you an, an additional form of AoE damage. It really does so much damage. It is crazy. Um, it just, like, I'll show you in the video footage, but there's moments where you just press multi-shot and your pets go in and you go Kill Command, Kill Command. And every time I pressed Kill Command in an AoE pack, I'm doing, like, 10 to 15k dps more than i was before so it's like obviously you need to keep your barb shot buff going your debuff going with barb shot but holy crap man with kill cleave when you press kill command it just absolutely rocks everything it just does so much damage so um the talent setup that i have going here is literally all the passive bonuses that we used to get things like thrill of the hunt um the legendary or sorry um Barb shot reduces the cooldown of Beast Your Wrath by 12 seconds. I mean, you have to take this. But Wild Call, Auto Shot Critical Strikes have a 25% chance to reduce the cooldown on Barb Shot. You get one with the pack a little bit here. And then you're getting Scent of Blood, which I believe was a legendary or just a talent. I think it's just a talent. I can't remember altogether. Sorry, guys. My BM Hunter is not uh, completely up to, up to snuff here. But I'm pretty sure this was a talent that just makes activating Beast Your Wrath give you two charges of Barb Shot. So you want to dump your Barb Shots before you press Beast Your Wrath. And then you press it and you can you can maintain the three stack Beast Your Wrath buff that you're trying to do. So the spec hasn't really changed, guys. It's still all about maintaining your Barb Shot um, debuffs on the enemy and giving your pets 90%. Uh, attack speed um, that's what you're really trying to do um, when you while, while while you're doing that it just gives you uh, so much damage if you let this buff fall off then you end up losing a ton of damage so the main gameplay loop for BM hunter is still keeping up your barb shot that's what you're doing okay but now you essentially just get rewarded for doing what you used to do before, which was pressing Kill Command, and you're more incentivized to press Kill Command in AoE situations now because of Kill Cleave. It's outrageous how much damage this thing does. One thing that's very interesting about BM Hunter is that you can spec into your AoE damage, or you can just completely unspec out of it and take a lot of single target damage. Things like Cobra Senses, things like... Aspect of the Wild, which actually really isn't even a single target thing anymore. But you could come over here and get Cobra Sting. You could maybe get Dire Beast if you want to. Or you could get Hunter's Prey, which gives you that uh, kill shot um, proc. Very, very cool. You can. It's one of the few classes where if you're transitioning from like Mythic Plus into Raiding, and on the Raid fight, there's literally no adds whatsoever, you can get rid of Beast Cleave and get rid of Kill Cleave and spec into a whole bunch of single target damage that will really be helpful for you. So that is a really cool sort of flexibility built within the BM Hunter tree that allows you to do multiple different builds depending on the content that you're tackling. So the build I'm showing you here is kind of a stock standard Mythic Plus build that I think will work in all those situations that you're looking at. I'm going to show you the rotation here. But the reality is, you're not going to be taking buttons like Aspect of the Wild. You're not going to be taking Call of the Wild. You're not going to be taking the Dire Beast line. I've tried these talents out, and they just, they're really cool and flashy. Especially Call of the Wild is a really new cooldown that, like, sounds amazing. You get to summon um, two of your active pets, and then you keep summoning pets from your stable. And then you can buff it and make it so that while Call, well, Call of the Wild is active, your uh, Barb Shot will give all of your pets 
90% attack speed once you have it stacked up. But it just wasn't as good as having the consistent DPS of this line here. All the passive bonuses like Thrill of the Hunt. Getting Barb Shot cool down, uh, to cool down Beast Your Wrath. And just continuing the regular gameplay loop that BM Hunters are used to. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about some of those other... If you've really tested with these. I've tested these a little bit and they just didn't feel as good to me. So let me know what you think about that. Let me show you the rotation here. And then we'll get into the dungeon footage, okay? So basically... Um, you're going to have your pets make sure they're set to assist. I think my my pets were set to passive. Um, yeah, I don't, They might even be been set to passive in the dungeon. I think they were. So that was a huge mistake. Make sure your pets are set to assist. And then you're going to start with a multi-shot. Don't start with barb shot right away because barb shot generates focus. So you want to do multi-shot into barb shot. And also you can throw your death chakram in a minute. Death chakram also generate. Remember, death chakram is mostly for focus generation. So let's go multi-shot into barb shot. Multi-shot. Okay, barb shot. We're going to do a kill command, do a couple of them. We'll get our second barb shot out here, okay? We'll do a multi-shot again into a third barb shot, and then we're going to go Death Chakram into Bestial Wrath, and then we're going, baby. You want to be pressing basically kill command almost entirely. Oh, I let my buff fall off. That was actually horrific. I'm so sorry. I let my uh, buff fall off, so that's what you don't want to do. Don't ever let your three stacks of barb shot fall off. I greeted for one more kill command. That was a huge mistake. So if I see my barb shots ticking around here, I'm going to press it. Boom, right there. Now I have three stacks. You want to stay at three stacks all the time. Stay at three stacks. Don't press barb shot. If it's your only charge left, you want to wait till your debuff's about to fall off. Now we have Beast Your Wrath back, so we can use our barb shot, then press Beast Your Wrath. Okay? Now we can use our next barb shot because we got the cooldown back from Beast Your Wrath. And this is the gameplay loop, guys. It's very, very simple. You want to maintain your three stacks of barb shot, your frenzy that you got on the enemy right there. And then you want to be pressing multi-shot into kill command. Always into kill command. I haven't pressed cobra shot once. If you haven't noticed, I haven't pressed cobra shot once with this build. That's how crazy this is. Every six seconds or so, you want to press multi-shot to maintain the beast cleave buff that's happening. And then every time beast of wrath comes off cooldown, you basically should be dumping your barb shots and then pressing Bestial Wrath. That's the most efficient way to do it. I didn't do it there, of course, because I'm playing this poorly. But you understand. You get the rotation here. And you will see I'm maintaining 73k DPS on four targets. Which is outrageous, guys. This only scales with the more targets that you get. And you can see I've still never pressed Cobra Shot once in this whole G-Dang rotation. We're going to do um, this into Barb Shot, into Bestial Wrath. Boom, boom, boom. And this is how it goes, guys. Always press kill command because you get that extra kill cleave happening. And that's the build right there. That's the build. Follow me, pets. <clears throat> that's it right there. So you can see beast cleave is going to be top. Barb shot will be way up there. And then kill cleave is right there, guys. Because of uh, the extra kill command damage. You're still getting stomp. Stomp is still a thing that we take. It's just all your AoE. This is your entire AoE right here. Beast cleave plus kill cleave plus stomp. That's your AoE now. Um... And it's very powerful, and it does ridiculous amounts of damage. Let me show you how much damage it does in the video right here. Okay, let's get that going. This is the... Um, I actually forgot to record the very first part of the dungeon, so I feel kind of sad. But that's okay. We will uh, instead watch the boss fight. And actually, one thing that has really impressed me with um, BM Hunter as well is the single target damage. So, as you just saw in the rotation I was doing, I'm pressing multi-shot. That's like how I'm getting the Beast Cleave active. But in single target, you're not. You're just pressing... Um, barb shots into cobra shots into kill commands and i'm doing 50k right now um single target that'll drop all the way down to about 40k by the end but it's very very strong the single target damage i'm doing 55k it's actually so impressive to me how much damage this did and again i know guys the disclaimer is you know that i'm not going to play this as well as you will if you guys are like bm hunter mains you know i'm doing lots of stuff wrong here so just bear with me there but Actually, let me know what I could do better in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. But this is not very difficult to pull off, guys. It's not difficult. This is where Death Chakram comes in big time. Because you're spending a lot more focus on things like Cobra Shot. And um, you can get all that focus back from Death Chakram. Also, it does a little bit of damage. But the reality is, guys, that BM Hunter, as always, 
can I'm you can see I'm doing mechanics here because you can run and do your damage at the same time. Not an issue whatsoever, but the damage on single target really impressed me, guys. I was really really impressed. I'm not even running a single target build by any means. This is literally a full AoE build for Mythic Plus. I still managed to get over 40k single target, which for me is a benchmark that you should be aiming for. If your class can do over 40k single target and then has those moments where it can get up to over 100k on, on big AoE packs, you are set. That is a good, good build for Mythic Plus, if you can sort of accomplish both of those things. So here's the regular rotation once again. There's Death Chakram, making all these enemies take 10% more damage. Very, very big deal. And then again, we're just doing Kill Command with Barb Shots. Look at the damage. It just This is only on four targets, So, but it just continuously spikes. Whenever you press Kill Command, it just makes your damage go through the roof. It's crazy. Here's another little AoE pack here. Again, it's good to see this as well. Does it have good, like, four-target cleave? And you can see we're doing 60, 70k on four-target cleave. I don't even have Beast of Wrath running yet. Here we go. Here comes Beast of Wrath right now. Boom. Get my charges of Barb Shot back. Spend them, spend them right away. Make sure that I'm maintaining my Barb Shot debuff on the enemies. You always need to focus hard. Look, I'm doing 86k. Every time I press kill command, it just makes my damage go through the roof. It's insane. I should 82k on four targets. That's really good. There's lots of classes that can do big, big amounts of AoE damage if you have like 10 enemies, but they can't necessarily pull off lots of damage on smaller amounts of enemies, like four target cleave and that kind of thing. But BM Hunter is good. Now, I let my debuff fall off, but I've got Beast of Wrath back so I can get my Barb Shots going again. No big deal. I think I end up... Oh, that uh, Evoker saved my life. That was a really good job by that Evoker giving uh, getting the debuff fall off. So, again, we're not doing 100k here because I think I started the fight kind of poorly. But if you were playing this better, I know you guys could get over 100k on these kinds of fights. And uh, in reality, this is just me not playing very well. But um, the damage is always consistent for BM Hunter. Pack to pack to pack. As long as you're maintaining your buff, which I completely failed to do here, you can really just consistently do more damage with this build. You can always be doing kind of 70k to 100k DPS on, like, every single pack. That was what I was noticing. Um, and it, it's just awesome. Like, it feels really, really good. So, we'll move ahead to this uh, single target guy. Once again, let's check out one more, a little bit more single target damage. Death Chakram, again, really, really good for single target damage because it amps all the rest of your damage and gives you that focus generation, which allows you to spam Cobra Shots, which in turn allows you to get your kill commands going. Once again, you can tuck yourself in the corner here so you don't get blasted away from this guy. And then I just popped Exhilaration to heal myself up. Again, we still look at the damage we started at. We started at 27k, kind of low. Over the course of the fight, 31k, 32k, 33k. We went back to 31, but you can just get that damage rolling as BM Hunter and you can maintain it. It's so strong, man. And it feels really, really good to play. Like, it's so simple to play, but it does so much damage and it's fun. Like, it's just fun to smack this hard with, like, only four buttons. And to have... Basically, this is one of those classes that doesn't have a major cooldown, which I really love. Let me just move forward here to the boss fight. I'm really all for these classes that don't have major, like, three-minute cooldowns that you have to play around. Like, I've been testing a lot of Mage lately, and, like, Fire Mage with Combustion, for example. You're constantly getting the cooldown of Combustion back. And it feels so good to have that major cooldown back and to be able to spend it. This is the same for BM Hunter. It's like this moment where you get to press Beast Your Wrath and it's back within 30 seconds. You know, 20 seconds if you're playing it really well. I love that play style. It just makes everything so smooth. And it feels to me like you you can't really screw up the, the barb shot window. Like you can a little bit, but... Sorry, the Beast Your Wrath window. But generally speaking, if you kind of screw up one of your Beast Your Wrath windows, which is basically impossible. Let's say you do, though... It's not as big of a deal as if you screwed up a three-minute window. Like, if you screwed up a major, major cooldown and didn't play it correctly. Like, Arcane Mage, for example. If they mess up their Arcane Surge cooldown, they're in big, big trouble. They're in big trouble. But for BM Hunter, it's like, it doesn't matter. Because you can just keep doing your regular rotation. And uh, you, you'll get, be you know, Beast of Wrath back in, like, 15 seconds. So you can try it again. And if you mess up, then, you know, you're probably just bad, like me. But you can see here we're getting almost up to 40k. 36k here. Sustained damage on this boss fight. There's a lot of mechanics on this boss fight that make it pretty annoying. So, 37k by the end. Let's go to the big AoE pull here. This is the big Algathar Academy AoE pull. You're going to see it right here. 
He didn't pull too much here, but he pulled enough, and I'm getting up to 75k. Again, there is some other classes. Again, if th that would get above 100k right here, and I'm not playing this very well. I'm sure you would get above 100k here for sure. <clears throat> Let's go to this next thing. This is where I think I do jump above 100k here. Big damage with Kill Command. Every time I press Kill Command, guys, my damage just spikes. It's crazy. Boom, boom. 77k. Boom, boom. Here we go. 82, 85, 86. Just pumping damage. It must have been the next pull. There is a 100k pull here somewhere, I promise. But again, BM Hunter like never has a time where it's doing like 10, 10k damage or something. Like It just doesn't have that. You're always doing lots of damage, which is so cool. Um... It's just a fun, fun spec to play for that reason. Okay, here's the big pull here, I think. I get my kill, my um, multi-shot and then just kill command, kill command. Damage just starts going through the roof. Boom. Boom. You can see it every time I press it. There we go. 95k. 110. Boom, 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 baby. It's just huge damage. 100, almost 120 there. 100, yeah, we got past 120. So there you go. This is That's what this is capable of. You guys would definitely be able to do this better than me. Um... But, uh, yeah, and this, this fight here is actually really good, too. There's just so much flexibility with BM Hunter. It can do the single target damage, and then as soon as you need to start doing AoE damage, you just press one button. You press multi-shot, like right here. I haven't pressed multi-shot yet, but I'm going to do it right now. Boom, multi-shot, kill command, kill command. My damage just goes crazy here. 75k on this boss fight. Like, it's just really easy and flexible. It's kind of like Outlaw Rogue, where you just press Blade Flurry, and suddenly all your single target stuff is now doing AoE stuff. It's basically the exact, it's the ranged version of that, and it feels really, really good to play for that reason. We got we got above 100k here, look at this. We hit kill command here, watch this kill command. I'm at 70k right now, I'm going to press kill command. Oh, look, barb shot takes me to 85k, then I'm about to press kill command right now. Boom, 94k, another kill command, 102k. Like, each time I press those buttons, I get like 10,000 DPS more than I had before. It's outrageous, man. Really, really good damage here. So, let me skip these last couple trash packs for you. Get to the boss room and um, wrap this video up for you. So, BM Hunter in general, <clears throat> as I've been saying repeatedly, there's a very simple build that you can run in the talent trees. And unfortunately, it doesn't have any new flashy abilities. I'm not even taking Aspect of the Wild. I'm not taking Call of the Wild. I'm not doing the Dire Beast talent row at all. I'm just taking the old Riley Stalkers Legendary. I'm getting as much critical strike chance as I can from both the class tree, excuse me, and the spec tree, like things like Thrill the Hunt. And it just means that my ability to crit is like through the roof, and that just basically makes everything work seamlessly with this build. You want to be critting like all the time, and if you are, it makes this build so smooth, and it makes it feel so good. It gets you Beast Your Wrath cooldown down really, really quickly. It's just incredible. Now... This is the AoE build that I'm linking, Umithic Plus. Once again, as I've been saying, if you want to run into a raid, you can do a really easy, flexible build um, that'll help you a lot with buffing Cobra Shot damage and allowing you to cool down Kill Command a lot more easily for the raid damage, and you'll be able to get much more than 40k um, single target damage. I'm sure of it, as long as you're playing it kind of correctly. So, again, flexibility for BM Hunter is absolutely there. It can move while attacking. You can still do mechanics as a BM Hunter if you need to do it for your raid group. It's really, really smooth for that. Has solid defensives now with Survival of the Fittest as, as well as Turtle and the Exhilaration stuff. You always have Disengage to get you out of messy situations. BM Hunter is just all around feeling really, really good, guys. So, I love it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Sound off, especially you guys who play BM Hunter um, as your main. I would love to hear from you guys and what you think about it. So, thank you so much again for watching. I love you all. I will see you in the next one.